They're supposed to save energy and money, but CFL light bulbs are also known to smoke and burst into flames. In this week's Consumer Watch, CTV's Karen Rosnick looks at the safety of CFLs. Brian Crucian thought he was saving energy and money by using CFL bulbs. But a few months after putting them in some light fixtures, this. But there was flames about that high and I just quickly reached out, unscrewed the bulb and took it out. Because and there's the result. Crucian says his bulbs started to smoke shortly after turning his light on. Then he saw a flame and smelt an unpleasant odor. Well, first thought was to get rid of the bulb, obviously, and, and the second thought was like, wow, how many more of these things, you know, are going to, is this going to happen? Crucian contacted the bulb's manufacturer, Sylvania. A spokesperson says this is actually quite normal, that when a bulb burns out, it may pop, crack, or emit a distinct odor. People may also see light smoke or slight charring at the base of the bulb. But Annie Thiessen from the Morden Fire Department isn't buying it. He says he's received a number of complaints about the bulbs and says they've caused homes to fill with smoke. He's even taken steps to remove them from his own home. We know they are causing some problems where uh, they're bursting into flames in the home, uh, right into the right in the uh, electrical socket, and. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty scary. Underwriters Laboratory, the organization responsible for the safety and testing of the bulbs, say some manufacturers have changed the circuitry to reduce the negative effects when the bulbs burn out, but says people should not be alarmed if they see smoke or flames. The reality is in investigations of, of these incidents, we generally find that um, it's just the end of life. But Brian Crucian says he's killing the switch on his CFLs. If this one flames, how many more have done it? And how many, if they're in an empty house or some of these fires that have happened, is that the cause? Crucian says he plans to replace all the CFLs in his home with incandescent bulbs while they're still around. Karen Rosnick, CTV News, Morden.